in this module, we're going to be talking about the TLS extension SNI. And SNI stands for Server Name Indication, right? Now, when we look at the atom here, the name indication, we know we want to do something with the name and we want to kind of like indicate the name, right? So that's an important uh, point I just want to highlight at this stage, right? Before we dive a lot deeper in here, right? So the first thing that we know is... On the right hand side, our server is hosting multiple websites, right? And on the left hand side, we have our client that wants to talk to the server. And in this specific, we want to actually be talking to the abc.com website, right? And as we learned from my previous uh, TLS sessions, you know, the TLS session is broken down into multiple sections. We have the handshake part, we have the finishing part, and then we also have the established secure channel, which is where we're encrypting the traffic back and forth, right? So when we so the first step in the TLS is to actually send that initial hello packet out. Okay, so in this initial hello packet, we're basically saying you know what version of TLS we want to use, the cipher suites that we can support. Ultimately, the server is going to make that final selection in which cipher suite is actually going to use, right? But when we send that first initial packet out there, right, we have a server, but our problem is. How do we indicate that we actually want to talk to abc.com as opposed to X, Y, Z? And the way we actually do that is we do it using the actual SNI, right? So if you think about it here, this is our packet. This is our frame that initially goes out, our IP packet. Inside our IP packet, we have the HTTP header. And inside the HTTP Inside the HTTP header is our SNI, our server name indication. And basically, in there, we're actually stating that we actually want to be talking to abc.com. Right? Okay? We're basically stating the actual domain name that we want to talk to. Right? Now, once we specify the, the SNI, the actual server is going to respond back with its hello. Okay? It's going to select the cipher suite that we're going to be using. Right? And also, it's going to send back the certificate of abc.com, right? If we didn't specify the SNI, right, then we would not be getting the right certificate back, right? Because the server wouldn't know which specific, you know, website that is hosting that we want to be talking to, right? Now, if you notice something here that's kind of like a, a little bit of a security risk here is, is that this hello packet here that actually contains the HTTP header and contains the SNI inside it, right? Is actually sent to the actual server unencrypted okay and that's actually concerned because someone like a man in the middle attack can actually determine which specific uh, server like website that we're actually talking to right and in TLS 1.3 there are you know mechanisms in place like for example encrypted client hello um, that actually helps to make it secure and it's actually you know having uh, SNI encrypted so there are you know there are some improvements in the TLS version 1.3 right now another key element here is is that why why this kind of like works also um in terms of having forward proxies and having secure access service edges like a sassy and those kind of models in the middle is that it's able to filter traffic and categorize that traffic because it's able to read the sni because it's not encrypted right and do kind of additional security controls as well right so as that packet is going so there are you know both advantages and a disadvantage of having the sni in the http head as part of that initial hello uh, that's unencrypted right just to keep in mind that that concludes today's session. Thank you.